So a couple more questions about interviewing. Um, the first is, if there are going to be several people doing an interview with a candidate, should their questions and, and, the way, and their methods be coordinated? Absolutely. You're trying to get a consistent picture of a candidate. And the way you're going to do that is have the same questions, be looking at the same things. We know what traits we're looking for. We know the type of questions. We know what type of activities. And then in your dialogue, you can point out, well, I like this person. Well, what did you like about them? Well, I like their answer to this question. That's good. I liked this person. And by the way, you know, we went to the same school. Not so good. So you're coming in, and if, if you're having multiple people making a decision, then you want to make sure you're basing it on the same interview criteria. You certainly are going to base it on the same assessment criteria. So let's have consistency across the board and not just wing it and go in and ask the questions we like and come in and say, yep, it's a go. So if we have a couple of people who are interviewing a candidate and they're trying to determine a characteristic like collaboration, how might they work together to decide whether this candidate had the right collaborative skills? I'd encourage them to first get together and, and create the situations uh, for the interview that they want to probe. So if um, you have certain types of uh, situations in your organization that call for collaboration, I would describe those to that individual. I'd also encourage the person to get answers from the people in the organization who are collaborative. How do they respond to that? And, and be very clear, where have you done this in the past and document it? That's why I like the balance between situational and behavioral questions. So we can do that. One thing also to recognize when you are doing your assessment in the interview is that you do bring your own personal biases to it. Um, we may actually, let's take tempo. Um, let's just say the organization is an organization that has a high tempo and they like tempo. Um, Jim, you might have very high tempo and you're looking for people who are really hard charging and I have a good tempo but not nearly as high as yours. Um, my level of tempo is probably fine for the organization. When you're talking to somebody and we're talking to the same person, I'm going to look at them and I'm going to ask tempo questions and I'm going to go, oh, you have good tempo. Your personal bias might be, well, I don't think their tempo is as good because it's not as high as yours. So one thing that you want to be very clear on going into the, the interview is what is the actual trait and how much of that trait do we really need? Because we don't necessarily need all gems. We need people who are going to be certainly as, as, uh, as have the tempo that Logan has. And it would be fine if they have the tempo with Jim, but we're going to be able to have people who are high performers in that range and let's not let it get skewed because we have our own personal biases.